what's going on guys? It is Cynical and today for you guys I wanted to do a Kingdom Hearts 3 discussion video and today I wanted to talk about Daybreak Town possibly making its way into Kingdom Hearts 3. I've wanted to do this discussion video for some time now and I wanted to do it even furthermore when I found out that Kingdom Hearts keys of course can into the Kingdom Hearts franchise and so yeah finally today I'm getting around to doing it. Now if you guys don't know what Daybreak Town is, Daybreak Town is the hub central world for Kingdom Hearts Key and of course Kingdom Hearts Key it's not a spin-off game like everyone thought it was when uh, it basically first release it is a uh, canon uh, Kingdom Hearts title to the franchise meaning that it is story relevant so will Daybreak Tower make its way into Kingdom Hearts 3? Now really there's not a lot of evidence backing up whether or not it will make an appearance in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. I honestly hope it does. Uh, pretty much, you know, Daybreak Town being the hub world of Kingdom Hearts Key, it acts uh, just like sort of Traverse Town and Twilight Town. It's also got a lot of history behind the Foretellers, is that's where they reside. So possibly we might be making our way to Daybreak Town at some stage in Kingdom Hearts 3. I know that the Foretellers are probably going to have some sort of um, involvement in Kingdom Hearts 3 as they've got in, uh, you know, in some sort of involvement with the Tome of Prophecy uh, and that's sort of connected to Xehanort as well. So, um, somehow within that mix, I sort of think that Daybreak Town could possibly make an appearance due to the whole Foreteller and Tome of Prophecy thing. Um, also another thing to keep in mind is, if you guys don't know and you've never sort of realized this, the hub worlds this sort of uh, time zone is very peculiar. Um, basically, Twilight Town is, of course, sunset um, or twilight. Travis Town is a constant night time. And Daybreak Town is like in the morning during sunrise. So that's another thing to take into consideration. I don't really think that has really anything to do with the possibility or chances of um, it coming into Kingdom Hearts 3. But that's another sort of cool quirky thing to take into account. All of the hub towns sort of had these peculiar time zones where they're stuck in either like a sunset, nighttime, or daytime sort of um, zone. And of course, Daybreak Town being it's, you know, it's in its name. It's during sunrise or in the morning. Honestly though, for me personally, I would love to see Daybreak Town make its way into Kingdom Hearts 3. Of course, that would furthermore connect Chi to the, well not Chi, but Ki to the actual um, main uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, franchise. We do know that it's story relevant now, so that definitely boosts its likeliness to of course appear in Kingdom Hearts 3. I feel like we definitely do need a new hub town as well. I mean, Traverse Town and sort of like Twilight Town and whatnot, uh, you know, they're, they're sort of getting a bit old. Radiant Garden as well, I, I feel like that they're getting a bit old as well. So, I really would like to see a new hub world. I wouldn't be complaining if the old ones returned. I don't think Traverse Town will, possibly Radiant Garden will, but I'd love to see a brand new one. Daybreak Town in Kingdom Hearts 3 I think would look absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's in Kingdom Hearts Key now, and of course Kingdom Hearts Key is like a, a sort of like a 2D-ish game, so, um, you know, worlds don't look really that great. But the whole concept and look of Daybreak Town looks really, really nice. Um, I really do, you know, hope that it fits in Kingdom Hearts 3. I'd love to see it. What do you guys think about this? Would you guys like to see Daybreak Town as an actual world or a hub world in Kingdom Hearts 3? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.